Well, let's talk about the hippie haven in the Virgin Islands. Yeah, they're waking up under that catamaran on uh, Isla Verde Beach in uh, brushing the sand off them. Tennyson's uh, fantasizing about his triumphal return. Oh, he's going to make a big splash when he he reunites with his beloveds at the hippie haven. Yeah. Well, they take that 25 cent bus ride back to old San Juan, to La Perla Villa, and uh, <laughs> out comes Raphael in his pajamas, and uh, he and Tennyson have a quiet word in Spanish with each other. Well, South about sex, oh, they're excited, yeah, they pack the day pack, throw the passports in, too, because who knows when you go down island. Yeah, create more possibilities in your life. Well, uh, Sappho hears a snippets of what uh, they've been saying. You know, her Spanish is quite limited, but she does get, uh, hey, tennis, and that's a lot of pounds, man. Tennyson, uh, remember who smuggled the whore into prison for you, man. Rafi, I'm on his fucking Sunday. Tennyson, yeah. Hey, haven't I always taken care of you? Well, off Raphael goes, huh? Well, how excited are the women? They're not only going down island, they're going to an entire new world, yeah, because uh, they're headed to St. Thomas. And these are Afro-Caribbeans, descendants of slaves, where blacks are black. And where from birth, they speak English. Wow, what a sea change that will be for the women. Everybody speaking English as their first language, yeah. Oh, St. Thomas, yeah, flamboyant carnival. Salsa bands flying up from Trinidad. <laughs> yeah, during carnival feathers, sequined outrageous car costumes, flaunting their sexuality, you know, and, you know, and uh, these islands, these uh, Afro-Caribbean goddesses, they're just dripping with uh, gold jewelry, <laughs> everyday wear, glamorous, yeah. Well, St. Thomas also, it's the, it's the Yankee playground for the East Coast of late. Most uh, uh, wealthy collection of yachts in the United States. Oh, the marinas. Uh, endless la uh, yachts. Uh, expensive. Sprinkle in a few super uh, yachts on those uh, teak decks. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, well, uh, yeah, you are traveling to another nation, uh, but... Conveniently, both scenes are within the United States. They're both uh, United States territories. And so, uh, St. Thomas, it was the essential main slave trading post for all the sugarcane plantation owners in the Caribbean. Yeah, they were coming up from Guadeloupe, Martinique, the French. St. Martin, the Dutch. Yeah, slave trade, yeah. Historically known as the triangular slave trade. Uh, so, you know, this island, the history of rigs, rum, pirates, buried treasure, shipwrecks, uh, bloody slavery. Yeah, these African slaves, that forced. 
Hard labor. Fun and sugar cane. Harvesting it by hand with machetes and scorching sunlight. Well, then what they would uh, crush it up into uh, sugarcane molasses, into barrels, fill up the cargo holds of ships, hundreds, thousands of barrels, then sail it up to New England, another side of the triangle of New England. They specialized in. Uh, you know, distilling it into liquid rum. And uh, still under Yankee uh, sailing, sail that rum to London where they would uh, drink it. <laughs> I mean, the sun never set on the British Empire in those days. Huh? They were drinking uh, Caribbean rum in Bombay, Rangoon, Burma. Yeah, Australia. Well, they made so much money with that, selling uh, the good rum, pure rum. Well, they then, now the British, sailed their ships down the coast of West Africa to, at gunpoint, capture more Africans, enslave them on those cruel Oh, so many died, huh? On the voyage to St. Thomas. And there they are. On the auction block. Human flesh. Bought and sold. Yeah. And, uh, So that's the underlying, uh, karmic history of St. Thomas. <laughs>